All right, so I thought I'd bring the board in to captivate on how I kept up with the graduating of those, uh, well, the, the first four semesters of college, all right, before I get into the graduating of the eight semesters. But here I'm in the, the four semesters where I'm able to comprehend what psychology is for myself. To say this is us using firsthand experience and then by word of mouth. Um, finding the inspiration when in kindergarten, congratulations, young psychologists, with your opportunity to get to college to put some degree, some mastery, and some professionalism with it, all right? So here in the, uh, in that, that moment's time, I used the 5A candle. And then this is where, this is the multiplication area. I always use, I, for, uh, for simplicity, I use the multiplication, all right, to keep up with it. But again, that's not what that's going to be each and every time, multiplication in that moment's time. And then I use the five, nine, yeah. Uh, so there's the five, nine candle. And then we have the five, eight. Let's do this like this. All right, five, nine. Boom, can we see that there? Okay. And then we have five eight candle. All right. Uh, and then five eight candle. All right, we got the uh, the five nine candle. So now this, I use three uh, words to go along with this in the teaching last week. I use complexity. This is a word again, a word. This is a word of origin. That's, that, that, that word is of origin, complexity. I used uh, conflict, and then I used uh, climax. And then, psychology up here. So now, this, this is found in our everyday. Uh, let's put it like this, found in every day. All right, found in every day uh, in our psychological. Let's put it. Every day in our psychological, this area of us, there is this equation. I'm identifying it as an equation. All right, this is equation. Equation. And the, and the examples in furthering was, I used uh, Raising Children. And then I used uh, Introvert. Then I used Extrovert. And then I used uh, Nervous System. Now there's many others right here that we could put. This is just I'm using these uh, for example. Uh, many others that we could put there. All right. So now when we in our everyday when we face with raising children and we do this multiplication that's about ourselves psychologically. All right. Every day pertaining to our introvert experience when we do this equation about us psychologically, and then every every day pertaining to our extrovert experience. When we do this equation about us psychologically, and then our nervous system, when we do this equation about ourselves psychologically every day, come complexity, an original word, a word of origin in the psychological area. Conflict, I use conflict, and then I use climax. climax. Now these two is not so much word of origin here. This is the word of origin right there, complexity. All right? Um, cause because with complexity, you have bad, comp bad complexity. And then you have when the complexity is good, good complexity. Now, good complexity is when we, we experience something that's useful. This is, this, is, this is useful. This is when the, the happening was useful, when the complexity was useful. And then this is when the complexity is unuseful. A 
let's bury it. Let's just say not useful. All right, not useful. So we have these equations about us psychologically. Here's what opportunity I always like to, in this area pertaining to keeping the creator in the picture, right? Because you have a candle, and then you have when the candle is lit, and then you have when the candle is unlit. And I think about the creator before he created Adam and Eve in that moment of time when he said, let there be light. Another way added, let things be lit, not unlit for what I'm about to create, whom I'm about to create, Adam and Eve. For me to create them and things remain unlit. So let me use let there be lit, light. So he went with let there be light to say, and then that parallel in itself to lit, light, lit, let there be lit. Let things be lit. For these human spirits that I'm about to create, pertaining to purpose comes to mind. Pertaining to the reason why he created us or created human spirit in the first place. The purpose, the intentions of all that. To be in the means of things being lit, not unlit. All right? That happening, this psychological happening in our everyday life come this area of us, psychologically speaking, or the area of psychology to us to be in the human spirits, where we have this equation going on each and every day, and then there is us working this equation out so that we can get that SUM for ourselves. So we can get that SUM for ourselves again, not perverting uh, that SUM right there. I, I like to say in that area. So now, when we when we add this equation up about ourselves. Come us raising our children. I think about this area of raising children, and there's where all the children, we may have more than one child that we're raising, right? That is more than one uniqueness, including one, or that's more than one unique that's going on. Cause we got to keep up with these uniquenesses to imagine that someone has a lot of children for themselves, and where these are all different uniquenesses, including theirs. So we have our uniqueness going on, and then it's our children's uniqueness going on. We've got to keep up with all these uniquenesses. And then for us to add up this equation about ourselves, come us keeping up with such a thing, right? All these uniquenesses. And, and in doing that, we have this right sum. So we work this equation out pertaining to us raising children. We work this equation out pertaining to introvert. We work this equation out pertaining to extrovert, and we work this equation out pertaining to our nervous system. Again, there's many other that we could do, but that's just for starts, all right? And we work this equation out about ourselves, and we then, and we have this happening before us in our everyday living, right? We have the, these things going on for us. Again, there is the experience of when the complexity is not useful, and then there is when the, the complexity is useful. I think about our pretty much so for it to be useful, I believe the best example going on here in this area is I always like to use when we get the right sum, because it's about the right sum. The primary here is the right SUM. But when we get that wrong SUM, it's not the primary. But we didn't sit down and we didn't work this equation out and we got the wrong SUM. The thing is, we try to get the right SUM. When we try to get the right SUM, when that is equivalent to having the right SUM, when the wrong SUM is equivalent to the right SUM. Now, here's where I just love using the topic of honest history. Honest history. I was sharing about how went from kindergarten, I graduated kindergarten, and I graduated from junior high, and I graduated from high school, and I graduated my eight semesters of college just two months ago. And I and I used the uh, the involvement of words or the words my honest history to say that we then worked this equation out about ourselves, but we ended up with the wrong SUM. I think about trying, right? And there is where because it was a try, or better yet, divining or de defining the word try, and then to keep in mind, do we believe is that opportunity 
to believe, or is there found around that word honesty? As if to say, okay, because it was an honest try, and you didn't got the wrong SUM, that will then become equivalent to you having the right issue. But again, that's not alleviating that the primary here is the right SUM. The rest of it to say in the same area, I want to say different topic, because I'm not I'm not gonna I'm just gonna go over a little bit of it here today in this, this segment. Uh, there is where how do you know you have the right SUM? How do you know we have the wrong SUM? And then where I use in the teaching last week was the observating of the observation of the observation of these things. The observation of uh, raising children. We're we're looking at our to say thus far. Uh, there is where uh, I said that after the after my first semester was complete com completed, there was okay, I was then inspiring with the thus far. You know, all the teachings uh, from kindergarten, all the teachings to say from elementary, all the teachings from junior high, all the teachings uh, from high school, and then all the teachings from just those first four semesters of college pertaining to. And then I went on the road for three years, and then I was inspiring with the thus far doing then. And then after the three, being on the road for three years, concluded itself, then it was going back to finish the next four. So to say, uh, observating the thus far, the thus far, right? Uh, where we were looking upon the thus far, and then that's the area where we will find out uh, is it the right SUM or the wrong uh, SUM, all right? And, and, and so, uh, one more time, we have complexity found in our everyday living, right? And did not put these words conflict and climax. I gave the definition of climax, the high point of the story, and then conflict is pretty much to, the word struggle sums that up, right? But again, complexity being a word of origin. These, these two words did swell for me to say in that moment's time when I completed the, um, the first four um, semesters, uh, then, then keeping up the, the conflict and climax. You know, that was like four semesters of college, all right, though I'm taking some time off and I'm doing this travel in these three years, there is four more semesters of college to be completed because the plan was to do eight semesters of college. That's how, that's how that pretty much got into the picture here. Again, complexity being a word of importance. So how do we, have the, how do we know we have the right sum? How do we not know we have the right sum? Pertaining to we didn't added this conclusion or we are not so much adding this conclusion, but we are working this equation now. Amen. We're solving this equation uh, and so in solving this equation we're going from the 5-8 candle to the 5-9 candle and the reason for that is because we have in our everyday raising children we have in our everyday the introvert experience we have in our everyday the extrovert experience we have in our everyday the nervous uh, system going on to further this and make a way to a conclusion with this, there is, I like to say the conscious stream. Now listen to this here. The conscious stream. You have the conscious stream. This is another way at it. A stream of conscious. Stream. Okay, let me put this up on the board. We could, okay, let's put it right here. We have the conscious stream. I'm going to put it in right here. Conscious Stream. Stream of conscience. In the, in the streams of conscience. Now, I use this in the area. Okay, we've got the conscious stream. The stream of conscience. Uh, Conscious streaming in the stream of conscious. That's that's how that's what I wanted to uh, just say that one more time. I, in my my way of keeping up with that to say, stream of conscious is its origin. Stream of uh, conscious stream. I find that um, that's the same in, in the way I put it like that. So, uh, conscious um, stream streaming 
in the stream of consciousness. Right. Brings me to the area that involves himself in, in, in more of this area, because I'm not going to go all into that right now, but daydreaming. And where we're evaluating what daydreaming actually is, to say. Uh, pertaining to, with this, definitely, I'm glad I want to get this in here, pertaining to where we're using actual happening. Actual happening, all right? Pertaining to, let's say, that um, we're using actual happening, opportunity to keep the, the, uh, the creator in the picture. We're using actual happening to conversate with the creator, communicate with the creator. We're using actual happening to communicate with the creator. Actual happening to communicate. With the creator. Let's put with the creator. With the creator. All right, we're using actual happening to communicate with the creator. Or communicate to the creator. With the creator. To the creator. All right. Using actual happening to communicate with the creator to say raising children that's actual happening introvert that's actual happening extrovert that's actual happening nervous system that's an actual happening complexity actual happening this is the actual happening about us we in, in dealing with psychology and the human spirit or psycho uh, psychological area of our being this is the actual happening that's also actual happening when we acknowledge this about ourselves and we add up this equation about ourselves now the 5A count on the 5-9 count, that's the way that I kept up with it. This is not so, I would, this is not like mandate right here that we use in that description. I, I brought that up last week in the teaching again to say, pertaining to just about just knowing this difference about us in this area of ours, this psychological area of ours, pertaining to where there is uh, this soul just like that. And there is to know the difference of it. Pretty much so it just breaks itself down to Knowing the difference of what bad complexity is and good complexity. Knowing the difference about those two. Bad complexity, good complexity. What's the difference? All right? Uh, and then to, 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 to simplify that even more, lit, uh, unlit. Again, thinking about the candles when the candles are lit. We light candles up, the candles are lit. And then pertaining to when they are unlit. When they are lit and when they are unlit. So... Pick it back up here. So we got conscious stream, stream of conscious, all right? Stream of conscious, conscious stream. And let's, for starts, when we're here and we're not yet here, when we're here and we're not yet here, when we are here and not yet there, to say as we're going from here to there, this is where this comes in. Conscious stream. Now, I use the description of going from kindergarten to elementary, from elementary to junior high, from junior high to high school, from high school to college. And there is, um, gave the description was to say cause and effect. Definitely we use cause and effect. We're going to get that in here. Let's put cause and effect. Cause and effect. So let's say that we're using the area of conscious stream or the stream of conscious. And we started right here, let's say, before we get over here, right? That's that's us right here. All right, so now let's bring that right here pertaining to uh, raising children, um, the introvert, the extrovert, the, the, the nervous system. So we have that in our everyday. And then we have this equation in our everyday. In our everyday where we're adding up this equation, or not so much adding up this equation, but we're doing the math about this equation. Again, this is the, we've got the multiplication, subtraction, division, and then we have the additional. And that's not always, I'm, there's many others that we can put in that area that we're just using a few for now to paint this nice picture. All right. Uh, so, uh, so we right here before we get here, okay? And so there is, let's say that we, we never get here. This is where introvert comes in. Introvert. And then extrovert. I used the, uh, so in the teaching, there is a description used was the, the helicopter. And then that was in, that 
that was prophetic or parallel to or a representation of um, self-esteem, all right? Lifting, uh, lifting up esteem, lifting up one's esteem. So we're doing this to say when we go to do this equation, we go to do it introvert. And then when we go to do it extrovert, with introvert or extrovert, introvertly or, in, or extrovertly. And we get the right sum. We got in here and we got the right SUM. But we never went any further. We didn't go over here uh, and, and get this 5-9 candle right here. Where then the lift, to say. This is where the, the let's say, a little helicopter. Uh, was lift, uh, the lift, the self-esteem. Lift of, say, self. Esteem. All right, lift the self-esteem. So we go to do this equation about ourselves, and we introvert, or there's an extrovert. Introvert, right? We're gonna we do this equation, and then after we do the equation, we we go we go get this lift. We get the self-esteem. We retain ourselves to lift or self-esteem. I had in the the teaching the question of so when we get here. And we got the right sum, but we don't go no further. Where pretty much uh, the description of introvert is the happening. So let's just leave that there. We're gonna leave that there for now. And now getting back to the conscious stream. Before getting over over here, to say that we worked this equation now, and now we're over here. So now we're over here now. Conscious stream, the stream of conscious. When we're over here now. And, and, and so the differ that that makes, that we're over here, the difference that that makes when we're over here, then when we're over here, the difference that that makes when we're over here, over here. So now this is a psychological example in the area, or using the area of psychology pertaining to us human spirits in our everyday happening with the life that's before us. Again, origin, the word of origin in this area of psychology, complexity, all right? And when we go to work this equation out for ourselves, come complexity. In our everyday, in our everyday happening, everyday life. When we go, when we, when we work this equation out, pertaining to the complexity, All right, so I just want to take some time out. This is what I pretty much topped up, um, t uh, touched on uh, last last week in the teachings, and we're gonna get into that part two in a little bit. I have coming up, and so I just thought that I'd take some time out, get to the board, and um, just present it like so. There's a further into this, okay? This is just where I'm keep things for now. To Roy TC, see you next time. Peace, presidential 2020 elections. We are where we are going to do just that, okay? Oh. Peace.